Well, someone said Mr. McGee. I shouldn't be hearing a microwave since I'm getting rid of them. If someone... I do hear a microwave. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode <laughs> of Chad decided not to have radiation in the house anymore, so let's plug it in, though. <laughs> And yeah, today we will be drinking this. This is from Five Paddles. Uh, we have to drink it because I kind of accidentally popped it a little bit while we were uh, oh no. cutting the cutting the stuff. This is from Five Paddles. It's one of their barrel aged. The cartoon, the rhino, and the punter are here to do the Sunset Paddler, which is this Midnight Paddler, which is a Royal Canadian Imperial Stout, aged in Niagara red wine barrels. Ooh. So ten percent alcohol. Oh. I took a little chip out of here already, so we can just do that, get it off the rest of the way. Right. It's a good thing we had an entire box of these cups down here, because we can just start switching them, and then I can make them take them home so I don't have to deal with the cleanup. All right, I'll get in here. I'll show my ugly, my, my ugly mug. Yeah. Ugh. Good day, you too. Uh, there you are, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, the, the, you know what seems smaller in my life now that you've been using that microwave? Oh my god. 60 seconds, but not the end. Are you in there? No, no, no. I'm not in the pick. I was on the last episode. Did she just say stop crying and have another Big Mac? Again, calories and radiation are two different things. It's the truth. Alrighty. Great color. Yeah. yeah. You can really see the red tinge on it, eh? No. I can't. I can. I can. I'm blind. I can. I'm trying to find it. I did as he was pouring it, I could yeah. see it. Oh. My <laughs> tablet says somebody's texting. <laughs> smells fantastic. Oh, yeah. Get the bottle. The bottle actually smells like just wooden vanilla. Yeah, you get vanilla for sure. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so the bottle is all wooden vanilla. The barrels mm. popping out of the mm -hmm. out of the bottle, but so you're not getting any of the. Yeah, can see I the can see it now. Yeah, no, I can, can see, see the red off of You're that? not getting any of the grapes or anything out of the bottle, but that's okay. Out of the glass, I'm getting I'm getting the midnight paddler a lot. I'm getting like the chocolate, the yep. roast, the darkness. Yep. Lots of roastiness. Yes, sir. Cheerios. I'm really impressed with the, the red tinge, though. Eh? That's cool. Wow. That's fucking interesting. That yeah. actually reminds me a lot of the Niagara College beer we just had. Mmm. It tastes like a red wine to me. But, yeah, you get the, you get the wine taste off it. But the mm. stout, really well balanced. Holy fuck. Yeah, that's pretty easy going. Wow, that is so smooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice chocolate, nice wow. roast. Yeah. Uh, moves into moves into the wood and vanilla, and you just get this, <laughs> this blanket like uh, almost almost dark cherry taste. Almost like you're drinking a black cherry ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's a wine. Mm -hmm. That's a wine beer right there. That's delicious, man. That is unreal. That is well done. Isn't that beautiful? Well put together, yeah. that one is, yep. Mm. You get the oak and the Everything. wine, you get the yeah. stout. Yeah, because you're getting all, all the stout flavors, you get all the oak flavors, and you're, mm. getting, you're getting all sorts of fun tannin and berry and it's, from whatever whatever wine they barrel they use. It's smooth, too, eh? Like, easy drinking. Niagara wine barrels is all it says, mm. but I'm going with uh, with a red. Um, yeah, I'm easily. getting, I'm getting kind of Cabernet. A little bit of Cabernet. I, I don't know why. Like I said, it could be way off. It could be a Cab Franc when it's not diluted. Cab Franc would make sense. It's kind of raisiny. It's kind of nice. Um, but uh, yeah, geez Louise. Look, That's pretty see, good. See the red? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, That's nice. Good, I see red when work, my friends boys. don't come and visit. I know. We're a bunch of fucking dicks. Uh, we yeah. do. We don't make time for you, Chad. Sorry, buddy. We're here now. <laughs> I really like this beer though. Uh, yeah, delicious. There's not much else. This I beer is actually a great hybrid of, of beer and wine. I mean, 
Sometimes the wine barrel overpowers, sometimes the beer yeah. overpowers. This is actually a really good in between. I think this is the best ones ever. You know I've what? You know what the saddest part is? We're drinking these really good beers, and she can't have any. Yes, she can. She has a little sip of it. I actually feel better. Okay, profile of my protruding lip. Because mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> when when she can drink beer, we always give her the shit. Hell yeah! Then, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's all these lovely things. <laughs> life. Well, oh, it's the holiday season. There's a uh, lots of good beers coming around. There right? is. I, I actually have a s'more stout coming in the mail Ooh. and a oh. butter tart beer. Oh my god, butter tart beer! <laughs> after February, will you do that? I, I don't know if I can make it last till February. It was brewed well, in October. Well, they say, do you know, they say when you're breastfeeding, it's okay to have stouts, right? Like, stouts do well for the breast milk. Have you heard that? Well, no, the thing is, it, it, no, it, not really. Uh, it's, it's when you're pregnant, the iron isn't bad. Because oh, okay. everybody needs a little bit of iron, and alcohol moderation isn't, isn't going to do anything. No. Uh, however, if you drink any alcohol while you're breastfeeding, you do have to wait two hours. At least before feedings, because it will actually you'll you'll be you basically you've got That's you've got, you got boozy milk. <laughs> Your body hasn't processed it. You got boozy milk. Are you fucking yeah. Blind. So. Never mind. See. Okay. okay I see the. You yeah, see as, it? as it's pouring, I see it now. Yeah. Oh, I've got crazy. boozy milk. If you know what I mean. Well, no, it's just the, I need the right lighting, right? Yeah. <laughs> did you catch that? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> boozy milk. You're no. a sick, twisted fuck. Yeah. No, I do, I do, thank you. No. <laughs> uh, out of ten on this beer from Five Battles. Oh, God. The, the I'm going to 9.7. I'm going to 9.5 on this one. It's a good nine, time. 9.7. Seven. 9.7 nine, seven and 9.5. You know what? I'm going to go a 9.5 myself. I really enjoy this. <laughs> and it delicious. actually is high ABV, high flavor, wine barrel aged, and mm -hmm. super drinkable. Yeah, absolutely. Really drinkable. And you taste everything. They you nailed taste it. everything they... You just get a stout, it, you great. get the barrel, you get the wine, smooth, I'm like real. that's a fucking great beer, okay. man. And another 20 cents for Christie's friend's kid's uh, bottle drive. Oh, perfect. It's the only reason I have all these bottles down here. I've been, I've been... Nice. Good for you, Chad. I would have returned them by now. <laughs> that's what I mean. I don't see them. Don't They're all me. stacked right there. Yeah. His class is going to win the pizza lunch just I think because so. of me. Woo. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks for battles. James, Excellent. can you see if you can hit that stop button? Uh, which one is it? It's the little stop button. This guy? Sure. Yeah. 